No. No. Uh, well, you guys are going to love tonight because I brought a little piece of video with this evening. I have five different friends I'm going to share with you. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the actual parts of the game, guys. It's like, you know, trash is a huge emphasis on alligators. They're around maybe 25 to 30 minutes from here. They're half day trash. It takes about three to four hours to see everything. They have over 3,000 animals. Most of those are big gators. We have a few animals like Florida panthers, crocodiles, giant tortoises, tons of snakes, lizards. We've got all the reptiles. We have multiple shows running throughout the day. One of those shows being the gator wrestling show. I like to bring that one up because that one's the coolest. Because at the end of the show, if you pay a little extra, you can sit on the back of that alligator and get some awesome pictures. We, of course, take the smile shut before we let you or your children sit on the back of an eight foot gator. And then we have two awesome rides right now. We have a swamp on ride, which is basically a giant monster truck taking it through the back of a baby's gator ran. The wall is a little digit and balance. It's really a fun, drops and turbulent ride. And then the other ride is my preferred one or my favorite. It's the Screaming Gator Zipline. And that one is one of the top 10 in the world because you get the zipline over the bass of the gators and the crocodiles. So it's pretty crazy because if you track with me here, you're up on the zipline, right? You're screaming down this cable and it goes over the gators and crocodiles. So you look down and you see your feet hanging there and then just feet below your feet you see alligators crocodiles trying to get you. So <laughs> if you choose to go on the zip line, we always encourage you to lift your legs as high as possible, right? Just tease a few guys. You guys are like, whoa, is he for real? Uh, no, we've actually been here for about a decade, and we have a broken track record. So in other words, we are well overdue. So if you guys are going to get some pickles or exhilaration, we would love it if you came out and spent the video with us. The way I like to sell to people is it's a hazard trash, so we're trying to have a good Build something fun, just like I said, it's not three or four hours, so it's not a huge commitment and it's very affordable. Now, guys, with that said, this first animal I'm going to bring out kind of spooks me a little bit, okay? So, with that said, I'm going to need the help of a brave volunteer. Who's out here? Mm -hmm. Is this young lady? Mm -hmm. She seems to be with me. Okay. If no one volunteers himself, I will pay someone. Are you raising your hand? Yeah. Okay, give them your talents. <laughs> oh, come on up here, man. Come on, we're going to catch you later. All right, on the next. Hands out like this. I'm going to look at that back blue wall, <laughs> and you're not going to turn around because I have to go back to you and I'm going to grab this prize. Okay? He's scared. You okay? Yeah. Okay. No peeking. <laughs> Don't run away, don't do anything weird, I'll be right back. He's scared. He said, don't do anything weird. Oh my gosh, here you go. He's scared. Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> He's scared of spiders. <laughs> He's scared of spiders. Tarantula. Tarantula. <laughs> You <laughs> we were very ready to go before she was not That looks like a wolf. Yes, not the point. Put your hands down now. I know oh, okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not <laughs> okay. Exactly. It's so be sitting there like this. I was terrified. Okay, guys, so real quick, you just held our lovely Spinderella. So this is a little princess up here we're holding. So she's going as a chocolate golden trench like this one. Is needed to South America, a country like Argentina and Paraguay. I always like to say to people who are visiting us here in Florida, you're kind of already on that. This Florida has a reputation to have all these creepy crawlers, but the one creepy crawling critter we're lacking in Florida are tarantulas. So you don't need to worry about running into one of these guys in the middle of the night. But we do have other things you can run into, just not this. Okay, you doing okay right here in the picture? Yeah. Do you want a picture? I'm just bringing it to you. You look like you're about to wig out on me. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <he's trying. laughs> 
We're gonna do the, uh, the pass around. Okay? You ready? Oh, God. I just see so, yeah. She looks at me like, are you for real, man? <laughs> no, I'm gonna walk around and she gets close to it. Yeah, get your patience in, you look. I don't do this. I hope you guys have your reflexes. You're good? Oh, my God. You stand back here for a reason. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, I exit out to the other side of the room. You're gonna need to run. Okay, you wanna see it, sir? She thinks I'm chasing her. Can, can I take a one? You want a picture? Well, yeah, I want one. Here. Hold on. Oh, gotta get, uh, gotta there be you go. Quick before spicy. Oh, go. There you go. Okay, good. Take a picture. Get it, get it. Way too close to me. Oh, good. Be terrified. Bobby, <laughs> look. Round me up. Should be terrified. All right, guys, we have such a small group tonight. We have fun with it. Do we have any questions and curiosities? We can take them. That's pretty hairy. Cool. Here. Do you hear those birds? Hmm? What is that? A peacock? <laughs> Why? Oh, nice. I have no idea. Let's do it. Why can't see it? What is this, guys? Oh, Scorpion. my God. <laughs> what is it, guys? Scorpion. <laughs> yeah, I was going to volunteer, but never mind. Fluffy, what kind of name is that? the second biggest species of scorpion in the world, but again, thankfully, this was not happening for it. It's not all the way on the other side of the world, Southeast Asia. France. Not France, yes. I have a question. What's up? What kind of name is Fluffy? What kind of name is Fluffy? That's a good question. Well, I don't even know what it is. So whoever named it was just trying to make an attempt at humor, be funny, because really, there's nothing about it that's funny, okay? I'm going to walk around and let you get your puddles in. Can a picture of it? Yeah. I can take scorpions. I'm not. All right, guys, which is worse? Is it a spider or a scorpion? Scorpion. Spider. Scorpion. I hate yeah. spider. Wait, I didn't get it. It's hard to pick, right? They're both pretty bad. No, it's Scorpion. There we go. Scorpion. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to keep going to I'm going to ask you a true or false question, okay? Yeah. yeah. Can you tell, true or false, can you tell how strong a scorpion sting might be just by looking at it? What do you guys think? Uh, no. No. Shut up. Yeah. False. Yeah. False. Yeah. True. You said true, you said false. So the answer to that question, guys, is remarkably true. Uh -huh. Can you give a general idea of understanding how strong a scorpion sting might be? Just by looking at weight, did you turn around, guys? Uh oh. You want me to bring it to you? No? <laughs> sorry, sorry for cutting myself off. The way you guys determine how strong the scorpion sting might be is by looking at its claws. Can you guys see these claws up here? Yeah. You guys see those? This is an example of a scorpion with big strong claws. So what that means is it doesn't really need to have a strong venom to build strength. It's primarily using the big strong claws to dispatch its strength. But it has tiny weak little claws and with little tweezers. And they're going to need to have strong venom to make up for those weak claws. Make sense? Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Now you guys are wise to still out, right? What's up, man? Can I just say something? Yeah. 
Actually, the smaller the scorpion, the more poison it has. So you will hear a lot of people say it's an overall body size that determines that, but the better thing the Galapagos is the size of the claws for the increase in our oh. Okay, guys. The next animal I'm going to bring out is a little bit bigger and usually a little bit more friendly. So with that said, Wait. I'm going to need another victim. I need another volunteer up here. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's out here? You want to go up here like that? Bubby, Dad. Bubby. Uh, uh, Bubby. 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 to raise your hand. Give you a hint. No hints. <laughs> I, told, I told you it's bigger and usually more friendly. That's all I can say. Do you want to trust me? I'm going to give you another shot. This one's better. I promise. It's getting better. Okay, come on up to the girl. We're going to have you sit right here on the X. And you're going to look right at mom and you're going to hold your hands like this, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Uh oh. Okay. Question is to tell. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hold that. I want to hold that. You ready? Are you having deep regrets right now? That's a yes. Okay, so I have a big proposition for you. Okay, she's got a big decision to make, guys. She's got two options. Option A is you can hold on to the same. Option B is the snake can hold on to her. <laughs> Which one do you want to do, A or B? She's like, neither. Is it an option C? <laughs> I want to do B. Oh, she wants to do B. Is that what we just heard? Do you want me to put the snake on your neck? It's honestly easier because you don't have to do anything but stand there and be still like a statue. No? Do you want me to put your hands and pull them together? Do you want to start pulling your hands back? Um, back in front of this body? Put your hand right here. Just go underneath like that. And then put your hand right on my head. If you don't have the shoes. She's got it. Okay, she's just going to sit out. Okay, we're looking at her for a picture. And guys, let's go ahead and give her a big round of applause. Oh, the snake's moving! Yeah. <laughs> what? She's speechless again. <laughs> you can run away now. Wait for num All right, guys. number two. Wait for number two. Adios. Adios.